Okay, so this may turn into one of those uh, geeky camera related YouTube kind of um, uploads. Um, don't mind the cat down there, she just likes boxes. Um, and I like cameras and accessories, as you can see. So, uh, all of this, with the exception of the H6 on the top, which was a fantastic birthday present from a very, from a very good friend, um, this is all off eBay. Everything, including the 60. Uh, which I managed to bag for 800 quid. Um, I'm using Canon FD lenses, uh, which are an absolute, you know, portion of the price. Uh, model lenses, and it suits me for video anyway, because they're all manual, so manual left stop, manual focus. Um, and then I've got this Varavon cage, which is great by itself, but I've managed to get the cage um, kind of rigged with this whale set uh, which comes with this matte box again also from eBay so all of this is, uh, is has come from eBay um, bit of a bodge there with the donut on the uh, on the lens but it's still doing its job it's still not letting any light in so uh, the difference in quality of the image now I've got all my contrast back because there's no uh, light falling on that lens that's a 28mm lens in there uh, I say it's an FD lens so with the adapter on the back I think you've got a uh, magnification ratio of like 1.6, something like that, don't quote me on that. But it, uh, So it's not actually truly a 28mm, it's a little bit tighter. But saying that, with all this gubbins on, all the, the top flaps, side flaps, matte box, um, I've still got completely uh, clear field of vision. Um, so yeah, this is great, and on the back here I've got a Varavon uh, multi-finder, which is just, just exceptional piece of uh, kit really. Um, so obviously you've got your, your loop here, so you can see a nice big image in there. Um, and then basically it just is really nice things. You can lift the top up there. If you um, lift this back, you can take that off, that's the other thing, you can take that off. And then it just becomes a nice sun hood. So your screen's completely protected from any light, so you can get your exposure nice and good. And then the, the other clever little bit is that pops back up. This pops up, and when you look down the top, you can see your, your screen there as well. So this enables you to get the camera lower to the ground um, or shoot from the hip without yourself having to crouch or be otherwise uncomfortable or on the floor. So if you're filming kind of, you know, low angle shots or subjects close to the ground, it's just great. Um, so yeah, so whole mixture of kit, a bit of a custom build. Um, but just really happy with it. Uh, I'd say, with the exception of the uh, H6 on the top, this is all from eBay. This is all eBay. Um, and so far, so good. So, valve on Armour Uni cage with the uh, pistol grip there was like 50 quid. Um, the Varavon finder I managed to get for 120. Uh, that's new, that's actually new. Um, camera, 810. Matte box and whales, um, 70 quid, I think that was. That lens in there, I think that was about 30 quid or something like that. But on my other lenses, which are in my bag over here, I've got a nice little selection of FD lenses in here. And basically, um, all of these, uh, I think I paid a fiver for, which one? Oh yeah, this, this, it's the Tamron Zoom, uh, but just to get me going, it's great. I paid a fiver for that. Um, so what I've done, I've put the FD to F adapters on the back of each lens, so it's easy to change lenses, that was the only thing. Uh, I've got a Speedlight 300 flash unit here as well, it's come from Prague. A little bit old, but does the job if I want to do some stills. That was £9.50. Just, just absolute bargainous. So, uh, yeah, nice selection of lenses. Uh, the other one there, that's the classic 1.850mm. I think everybody knows and loves. Um, got that for, I think, 40 quid. So that's, that's my newest lens. That's the only new lens I've got, really. Um, and then, what's this? That's a 135 Prime at 2.8. So... Yeah, well away really, um, and these lenses are just top notch really, really, really pleased with them. And for myself, because I'm actually doing video, I'm not 
Yeah, I do do a bit of stills, but even then, I prefer to use lenses manually. I don't need autofocus. I don't need the lens to talk to the camera, and vice versa. It's all nice and manual. So it's a nice kind of mixture of disciplines here. We've got, you know, new technology and uh, quite old school kind of bits of kit. So it's nice to have the old, um, older lenses. I'm gonna see how they perform. And uh, yeah, and that map box is just it's just proper. Um, and it's got the uh, filter trays in there as well and the swivel. So that's that's what you need. Um, so the only downs, downside to the way I've rigged this at the minute, because I've got a mixture of things going on under here, this is my only drawback. So the valve on finder that comes with its own little base plate which is this one here um so that's the base plate in itself and then the um armor uni cage it's got its own kind of base plate which is this one here then obviously there's a base plate that comes with the uh, the rails uh, and the map box but I've, I've kind of managed to kind of couple it all together everything's good and tight and like i said the only drawback is um, I don't get to use the, the follow focus. But with the gear on the lens, what is nice, well, I just found out, and I'm operating and uh, I'm holding this hand grip here, actually, I've got nice, easy access to focus there. So, actually, having this on the lens still, even though I've not got the follow focus unit, is actually uh, a massive help. And of course, I've put this other little hand grip here, which I got from a fiver. Uh, there's a fiver from a charity shop and uh, yeah so there we go um, in the background now you can hear the automatic cat dish which is going off to feed the cat um, don't ask about that one that's another video entirely so anyway that's that's my setup at the minute um, so there we go